Hi everyone, we're going to sketch a graph of the secant line and find the equation of the secant line. And we're also going to sketch a graph of x squared minus 4x, or f of x. We're going from negative 1 to 1, and we have to find our y va values. Excuse me. So here we go. Uh, recall that the secant line is actually the average rate of change of this curve. So you have a curve and you have two points, two x's, up here, and you just connect those two, and that's your average rate of change of this curve. So we want to go from negative 1 to 1. So we need to find our y value, so let's put that in. So f of negative 1 equals negative 1 squared minus 4 times negative 1. So this is going to be 1 plus 4, which equals 5. And then for this one, plug in 1. So you get 1 squared minus 4, that equals negative 3. So we have point 1 and point 2. We already did this little part here, so we just have to do our normal slope formula. Subtract your y, subtract your x's. So we get negative 8 over 2, so our slope is negative 4. All right, now to find the equation of the secant line, we're going to write y equals mx plus b. So it's going to be negative 4x plus b. Plug in one of the points. I'll just plug in that one. So you get negative 3 equals negative 4 plus b. Add the 4 to both sides, you get 1 equals b. So our equation of our secant line is y equals negative uh, 4x plus 1. So if you don't have to graph, then we're just done. But we're going to graph these two and show you what it looks like. So I need to remember this. Negative uh, 1, 5, 1, negative 3. All right. So first thing I want to do is factor that out. So I know my x-intercepts are x equals 0 and x equals 4. So 0 and 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. It means my vertex is right there. Now negative 1 maps to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And 1 maps to negative 3. All right, and I kind of want to know, you don't have to do this, but I want to kind of know what 2 maps to. So if I plug in 2, get 2 squared minus uh, 4 times 2, that's going to be negative 4. So that goes uh, down here, just to get an idea what the graph looks like. Um, so we're going to have a point here, because it's symmetric, and we're going to have a point here. So let's graph this. So here's our uh, y, our f of x is like this. All right. Now, we want to know the secant line. So negative 1, we want to know what is the average rate of change from here to here. And um, we got y equals negative 4x plus 1. So I just want to get that so I can draw my y-intercept there. Now we're going to connect these two, and there's your secant line. Of course, you can extend this out a bit. Um, if you have graph paper, it's a lot easier. I mean, if you have writing it down, it's a lot easier than on here. But that's the general way. Uh, you do it. Let me do the secant line in a different color. So that's your secant line right there. And you can extend it out here, extend it out in here, okay? That's it. Thank you. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.